back in Bordeaux with our friend Severin and this is Severin. Hi everybody. And she's going to tell you exactly what she does in Bordeaux. So uh, in Bordeaux I have a small agency of uh, communication in the wine and spirit field and I also have an Airbnb home and I host some experience uh, which is a visit of Bordeaux on the theme of the, uh, the trade. So I explain how uh, Bordeaux developed itself uh, given the, uh, the um, wine trade especially and I show some ancient picture and, uh, and engraving because I'm an art historian initially. Exactly. I wish, I was hoping you would yes, say that course. because she is an expert in this. And I so, have been on your tour and yeah, I know how true, nice it is. True. <laughs> I really enjoy to show that and to, to share my knowledge with, uh, with my customer and visitors here in Bordeaux. And uh, we are here today to talk to Severin about this beautiful glassware as you can see right here and why we have it on this table. Severin. So, uh, I like very much the French way of life <laughs> and so uh, as I'm lucky enough to have a, a big house in Bordeaux, I have also Airbnb and I like to welcome people and to explain them and to show them how uh, we drink and, uh, and eat in France. Uh, what is the name? The name of this particular kind of lifestyle? Art de vivre. So remember, <laughs> this is what I like to promote, the French art de vivre. Exactly. And therefore here, uh, I have, uh, we have settled here some glasses. Uh, to show you how uh, specifically we use them with different uh, uh, types and color and of, of wines. So, what are we going to start with? Uh, we can start with yes. the champagne. <laughs> we will go <laughs> into that. Go out. So, this is for champagne, or this is the flute we know that is normally used yes. for champagne. These are high, nice, beautiful flutes yes. which are uh, often used with champagne. Uh, but personally, I like also to use that kind of glasses which are um, possible to use with uh, every type of wine, in fact. The shape is specific. You have here, you know, it's a kind of a angular shape and the, uh, the flavor of the wines is enhanced thanks to that, especially with the champagne, you have the bubbles which are uh, increased. So the flavor is much better than kind of, of glasses. We can uh, go to those uh, <laughs> magnificent glasses, very, very thin. They are, they are mouth uh, blown. Yes. So uh, unique, Every, everyone is different. And they are especially uh, light and thin. The rim is very, very thin. Uh, we use them more for the, for the red wine, but you can use it for the white also. And, uh, and uh, the, the kind of, the, ah, la hauteur, sorry, my the English. The height. <laughs> the height of the glass uh, um, enable you to, um, to see very well the color. In any occasion. Yes, and for any type of wine. This is a sparkling Crémant de Loire, rosé, as you can see, with a very nice color. And this is a Bordeaux, a 2010. As you can see, the robe is so full, and you can swell and taste your wine and smell. The aroma is just beautiful. The opening is not too wide, just the nice um, size to put your nose. In it. Don't dip your nose in it. <laughs> Just mm, really, really good. And in addition, those kind of glasses, uh, you can put them in the wash dishwasher. So this is a. Oh, okay, ladies, this is important. Washing machine works with this, okay? Because as you can see, uh, we have these other glasses 
which is so beautiful but really really fragile so you cannot wash them uh, only by hand the dishwasher. and dry them very very carefully so the difference between this glass and this glass is that the surface is wider so you have also more room for the aroma to uh, develop yep. and to go up to the nose and the mouth. So we head to the so. table. And now we'll be having a nice lunch. Uh, as you can see, the table has been set. Uh, this is a traditional way of setting a table in France. Uh, I mostly use uh, beautiful um, porcelain from Limoges. Limoges is the town where most of the factories of uh, porcelain are still uh, uh, held in France. <laughs> and uh, there you have a, a salad and uh, we use the beautiful glasses that we already discussed about. And then we have the drinking cup, of course. So I, I just have to tell you, um, because the original French setting of uh, a dinner table or lunch table is very much like what we have in my country. The difference is um, because Africans, uh, we normally don't have much of salad. It's a, it's, a, it's a sauce already. So that's why we have like the fish sauce uh, in peppers and uh, tomatoes. And uh, then we have the rice. So what we do is we use this plate as the sauce plate. And we do it like this. And that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, our, our cultures are far apart. But in, in fact, setting a table like this on an African table on any day or. would be perfect. Or this way, because today we are going to have jollof rice and plantain with a peppered fish roasted fish in tomatoes and uh, onion sauce so i think the Bonne table, <laughs> the table is ready and we're going to leave you now because we want to have lunch